Welcome back everyone. So in this video, we're going to go over how to upload images to Adobe stock that contains models and more specifically how to upload model releases on Adobe stock. So let's go ahead and open up Adobe stock. All right. So here I am in Adobe stock. And the first thing that I want to do is I do want to prepare some images that I'm going to use for the model releases. And for that, I'm going to use Metaphoto AI. So I'm going to ensure that my images are keyworded and um, that they are ready for uh, upload into Adobe stock. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. Now I'm going to um, keyword these. So I'm just going to hit on batch generate. It's going to go ahead and generate metadata for these 13 images and it's super fast. And just like that, we have keyworded uh, 13 images. I'm also going to generate some categories for these images for Adobe stock. So I'm going to select them all control a, and then I'm going to come over to, uh, generate for Adobe stock and it's going to go ahead and categorize these should be done in any second. All right. So there we have it. We have categories for, um, all of these images. All right. So those are done. So let's go ahead and head over back to Adobe stock and I'm going to go ahead and create the, the model releases. So I'm going to create one for myself. I already have one for my son and one for my wife. Um, so I'm just going to create one for myself, even though I've already have some, but for demonstration purposes, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go over to releases and I'm going to go on, create a release and I'm going to use Adobe sign. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to fill out the model, um, information. All right. So we filled out the information. Now we do have to upload a portrait of the model and I have one on my desktop conveniently called me portrait. All right. So upload that and review request. And we're going to go ahead and send that out. And in this case, I'm the model. So it's going to go to my email address. But if the model was someone different, then it would go to obviously their email address. All right. So I'm going to send that. All right. So that has been sent. So it should appear in my, there we go. All right. So. I'm going to click on this to review and sign. All right. So here I'm going to fill out all of the information. So, you know, um, date of birth, gender, ethnicity, address, and all of that. So once I have that information filled out, I'm going to click on click to sign and it's going to insert my signature. So there I have it. I have the signature and if the model was a minor, then you would um, need a parent's or a, uh, a guardian's um, signature in this field here. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and fill out the rest of this information off screen. All right. So once you filled out all of the information, you're going to want to scroll down and click on this button here that says click to sign. And all right, so that's it. It's going to be sent back to the artist, which in this case is me again. Um, all right, so let's head back over here and I will have received a new email, which is this one. So this time it's the photographer that's um, sign in. All right. So I've scrolled down to the bottom of the, the form here, and you will see that it says click to sign again, and I'm going to click and apply. 
and it conveniently shows you where to click to sign. Let's do that. Click to sign. If we head over back to Adobe Stock, you will see that we now have a new release. Um, so if I refresh, you can see that we have this release um, here and it's a uh, submitted date was today and we have our ID and all of that information. Now, right, so now I'm gonna upload the images and link the image to uh, this model release. And if you have multiples of the same name um, or title rather, because that's what you're gonna wanna use to, to link it to your images, then Adobe Stock will more than likely choose the latest one. Um, yeah, so let's do that. Head over back to Metaphoto AI. All right, so now I have my images prepared. In Metaphoto AI, I'm just going to click on the images that I want the model releases to be applied to. So you can see I'm selecting them all here, and these are the ones that have me as the model, and I'm going to click on image options, scroll down, and I'm going to type Type it out exactly as it appears in Adobe Stock. And just to be sure, you can just come over here, copy it, come back here, and paste. All right, so that is good. And for these, I know that I already know the name of these models. And then and you want this to be a common, comma separated list. So ensure that you insert a comma after each name. All right, so that is good. So if we just look, you can see that they have been saved. So perfect. All right, so now I'm just gonna export these CSV. I'm gonna select them all and export for Adobe Stock. All right, so that's been exported in the folder on my desktop. So if I was to navigate over to my desktop, I can see that we have the model release here. So I'll just drag this over. All right, so now I'm gonna go back to new and I'm going to go to upload. All right, and I'll just drag the images over and upload those. All right, so once the images have been uploaded, you can see that we have all of our keywords and uh, titles that we um, did in Metaphoto AI. Now it is the crucial step where we upload the CSV file and that will link it to um, the model releases that we uh, put into Metaphoto AI and it will also bring in the categories that we generated. So let's choose the CSV file that's also on my desktop in model release. All right, now let's go to upload. All right, so it's ready. So once I refresh, you will note that these little um, people icon here will choose, will change to having a number next to it. And so these images here, for example, will have a two next to it because there's two people in the image. Um, all right, so let's do that. All right, so excellent. So here you can see that um, our model release has been applied to the images. And if I was to click on it, you will see that it does indeed have the model releases. And it, so Adobe Stock didn't choose the latest one, but in this case, I don't really care. Um, a model release is a model release and Adobe Stock doesn't really distinguish between like um, shoot dates or stuff like that. 
Um, so that is it. Um, in this case, I would go ahead and I think I already have some of these um, in review. Okay, so I have these ones. So I'm not going to submit those. So let's submit, just submit a couple. All right. So yeah, I'll submit those two. Actually, let's uh, select these all. And then I will say this and this and include those in submission. All right, now I'll submit and I understand. Okay, so yes, we're gonna submit those three. And yeah, so just like that, those are now in review. All right, so yeah, so that's it. The process is fairly simple. Um, if you're using Metaphoto AI, it's, it's uh, pretty straightforward. Um, all right, guys, so if you're interested in Metaphoto AI, you can find it at metaphotoai.com. Um, there is a free tier. You can try it out. If you like it, then you can subscribe. Until next time, have a good one.